So I recently saw this uh, post on LinkedIn, a friend posted who works at a, a charity that supports people with uh, a disability or impairment. And they posted about an app that has been released called Seeing AI, a free app that narrates the world around you, designed with and for the blind and low vision community. This ongoing research project harnesses the power of AI to open up the visual world by describing nearby people, text and objects. I thought I'll give it a go. So I'm gonna, I've just downloaded it. So this is gonna be my, my first look and a first test of how how you use it. Oh, it's already, it's already talking. <laughs> right. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just turn my camera and then I've got some items to test. F12, Dell back into shift. <laughs> it's already speaking. Right. Okay, calm down. Right. So we're going to test the earbuds first. Nine. All right. It thinks it's uh, in the shape. Oh, it's a number. So I can see there's different settings. So there's a text setting. And what does this one do? Oh, scanning a document. Right. So hold the camera over a printed page to capture it. After the text has been recognized, you can use voiceover commands to navigate. Right, I've got a really old book. Don't judge me. The Rock The Rock says it's kind of a, a memoir from way back. And it's like almost uh, falling apart here. Right, so let's have a go. Right. right I'm just going to do a random page. Hold on, hold on. Right. Processing. Oh, it's doing it. Okay, let's have a look. Oh wow, that is fantastic. It's done it so accurately. That's incredible. Right, let's Ah oh, yes, there's a play button. Like a hurricane woman was sitting. In my twisted state, I was thinking this bitch is talking like that to my face <laughs> in front of my mouth and me. The next thing That's I an unfortunate page that I chose. <laughs> squeezing the oxygen out of her tiny body. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really good. Right, let's uh continue testing. So I can see there's like a barcode, yeah. right? So a product feature. So seeing, seeing AI can recognize products based on various types of codes printed on the packaging, including barcodes. Select the type of code. Right. Let's use uh, Mr. Rock again. Oh, it's a HMB sticker. Right. It's not because I think it's. It's so old and it's gathered dust, it's not recognizing it. Right, let's take that off. Processing. Oh, there we go. The Rock says, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, The Rock. Fantastic, that's worked. That is, that is fantastic. Right, let's move on. What's this Scene. icon? Preview. Scene. This this channel features the latest artificial intelligence for describing an overall scene. This work is still experimental. Take a photo and hear a description of this scene. It captured. Okay, let's do it. To take a photo of me videoing. Okay, let's take. Processing. A camera on a tripod. Amazing camera on iPod. Right, let's try that again. Uh, how do I switch the uh, camera? Right. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of myself. Processing. Oh, it's taking a while. A man making a hand gesture. <laughs> that is that is really cool. Okay. Right. Let's go back. Right, let's try this person icon. Person. Right, scan your surroundings to find out how many people are around you, how close they are, and their facial expressions. Um, oh, that's cool. Okay, if you've taught the app to recognize a particular person, person, their name will be announced. Oh, right, that's that's cool. And seeing AI will also tell you the position of each face it detects, which can be helpful for centering a person in a camera's view. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's give that a go. Oh, I can switch my camera One around, actually. Here we go. Let's try it. Processing. 31-year-old man with black hair and a beard looking neutral. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Okay, it's it's shaved uh, a few years, um, and I I remember actually uh, uh, testing this. Uh, my uh, my friend, a colleague from uh, another company, uh, tested this out. So this this is this is me trying it out. I've never tried the, the app, so that is that is really cool. Okay, and um, I can see there's like a money one. Currency. So currency, it can. Rec currency recognition is always improving. Please, so please have someone you trust confirm a note's value. Hold the camera over a single note. Ah, oh. I don't have any actual money. That's the problem now with, uh, with paying uh, in digital currency. I don't have any money, so I'm gonna have to skip that one, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Next one. Preview. Color. Use this channel to hear the perceived color of object. Okay. Right. Black. Black. Oh, I can see there's a little square black box. Black. So that that must be black and black. what it what black. you need to point it towards. Right. Let's do the screen. One. Three. Great. Okay. Black and black. <laughs> let's do the, let's do the sharpies. Three. Right. Oh, I'm not sure that's quite working. Black and white. White. Oh, it's not picking up the red. Right. I think that needs a bit Why? of improvement with that one. Right. Okay, let's try again. Gray and yellow. Black. Right. White. Right. White. Hmm. White and grey. Yeah. Black I'm not, and not sure that colour one is working quite well or I'm doing something wrong. Handwriting preview. Handwriting. This experimental channel allows you to recognise handwritten text. Right, okay, let me grab right, I'm gonna grab a sharpie and then right, get a notepad. This note that this channel requires the text to be right, the right way up. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna write testing, seeing AI. Okay. And uh, take a pick. RMT accountants and business advisors making business make sense testing seeing AI. Oh, fantastic! Right, what it's done is it's also picked up the um, the the writing on the the notepad, notepad there, and also my handwriting, so the the printed text uh, on there. Cool. And then there's a last light. one, which looks like a sun. Use this channel to detect the amount of light around you. The pitch of the tone is based on how much light your phone sees. Okay, right. So is that more light? I'm going to take it towards my dome light thing. Oh, check that out. <laughs> yeah, it's going. It's going louder and louder. Put it towards the window. Okay. Okay, that that one definitely does, does work. Okay, that was really cool. I'm going to turn it off. All right. There you go. Got my background, got my camera back up. So uh, that was that was really cool. Actually, I found that uh, quite quite fun to do, and I can really see how this can uh, benefit people with with a visual uh, impairment, but uh, people that maybe um, find it a challenge to read large text or can't can't read anything when they're out in in the supermarket or doing things uh, at home at work as well so this this is a quite a powerful powerful tool uh, to use um, go check it out yourself i think i'll do a more in-depth review this was kind of experimental i've never used it before I, this is the first time i've used it on this uh, video um, go check it out hopefully this has been uh, helpful and introduce it to other people that might not have heard of it and and could benefit i'll add some helpful links in the uh, description as well and a link to a an organization that i volunteer with 
uh, and and work closely with uh, Ability Net if you wanted to support and volunteer through them. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.